Hey YouTube, it's Rome and welcome back to Workshop Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about linear regressions in Python. Specifically, we're going to look at two different methods of performing a linear regression. We're going to look at a prepackaged solution and then we're also going to look at a matrix solution as seen in a previous video where we looked at linear regressions with matrices. For starters, we're gonna need some data. And to generate the data, I'm going to use NumPy, and then I'm also going to import matplotlib so we can visualize it and hopefully see some sort of positive linear trend that we're trying to capture in a regression model. So I'm going to say import NumPy as MP, import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT, and then I'm going to say x is equal to mp.a range. We'll just go from zero to 10. And then we'll say that y is equal to x plus mp.random.randn. And then we'll generate 10 draws from a standard normal distribution. And if we plot this, we could do plt.scatter x and y. And you can see that we have some data here with a very strong positive linear correlation. When it comes to interpreting your coefficients in a statistical setting, there are some grassroots assumptions that are being made about the data that you're modeling in terms of whether or not the relationship is assumed to be linear, if the errors are distributed standard normally, things of that nature. We're not gonna cover specifically those assumptions in the statistical setting in this video, but perhaps in another video, we'll talk about the statistical implications of a linear regression model. So our goal is to find the line of best fit through this data. To find the line of best fit, to create any line in general for that matter, we need a slope and we need an intercept so that we can shockingly use slope intercept form to draw a line through these points. Now, this slope and intercept are going to be very special in that they are the solution which minimizes the distance of all of these data points to that line, e.g. the line of best fit. So to do this, we actually have a closed form solution in terms of x and y. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. As you can see, I typed out the equation that we're going to be solving. That is for this vector b that contains alpha and beta, where alpha is the intercept and beta is the slope of this line of best fit. And we have x and y respectively. The only thing that we need to do now is modify x so that we include a column of ones that represent the intercept for every observation. To accomplish this, we're gonna make a slight modification to the code above. We're gonna look at where we defined X, and instead of just including the synthetic data matrix, we are also going to include this column of ones by saying mp.ones10, and we can wrap this in a numpy array, and then we will have successfully generated that matrix where we have a column of ones and then a column of our data. Now we also need to make a slight modification to the y vector where instead of using x, we're going to be using the first column in the x matrix as the, the zeroth column is just gonna be the ones. So we will say the first column and everything in the first column using our slice notation. And now we can go about plotting this by saying x and everything in the first column with y. And we once again get our nice scatter plot. Now we're ready to solve this matrix equation. To solve this equation for the b vector, we have everything we need. We are first going to start by transposing the data matrix. So I'm gonna say x is equal to x transpose. And now I'm going to compute this product here. So I'm going to say x prod is equal to x transpose x. Then we need to take the inverse. So I will do x inverse is equal to mp.linout.inverse of x prod. And now we need the product of y transpose x so I'm going to say y x is equal to y transpose the product with x. And last but certainly not least, we're going to take the product 
of these two guys. So it is going to be B equal to X inverse multiplied by Y X. And now if we print the vector B, we can see that we get two values, one of which is the intercept, that is the first one, and the other, which is the slope. So if we go ahead and create a line with these values, they're going to best fit this scatter plot of data. We can actually use a fancy trick to plot this line. We can just compute the matrix product of X and B. If we take a look at the shape of X, we can see that the shape of X is 10 by two. If we look at the shape of B, we can see it's two by one. So if we compute the matrix product of X, B, we're gonna end up with the Y data that we're looking for. So I am going to say that our line data is equal to the matrix product of X and B. And now we can just go ahead and plot the original scatter plot with this new line of best fit. And hopefully it should look like it fits the data pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this original scatter plot code up here. I'm going to change this to X transpose so that we transpose back to columns instead of rows. And now I'm just going to copy this. And instead of a scatter plot, I'm going to use a line plot. And instead of this Y data, I'm going to use our line data. And if we go ahead and take a look at this chart, you can see that the line of best fit fits our data pretty darn well. Now this is certainly an elegant solution, but it's not necessarily the easiest one to implement. We have a lot of out of the box solutions available to us. If we just pass the X and Y, we're going to retrieve the intercept and the slope respectively. All right, so this out of the box solution is gonna come from sklearn, scikit-learn. I'm gonna say from sklearn.linearmodel import linear regression. And I will instantiate this class by saying LR equals linear regression. And I will fit it to our original data. Now in this case, we don't need that column of one. So I'm just gonna pass the data by saying X transpose the first column of data and our original Y values, but we are only passing one sample. So we do need to do a reshape, negative one and one, and we have successfully fit our linear regression model. Now, if you look, <laughs> we did everything that we summed up here in essentially one line of code as a prepackaged solution. But don't take my word for it, let's take Python's word for it. So if we look at the original B vector that we solved, we have our intercept and our slope coefficient respectively. And if we take a look at perhaps a new vector, LRB is equal to mp.array, we can get the intercept from our linear regression model by saying lr.intercept underscore, and then lr.coef underscore is going to give us the coefficient. And if we run this, we can compare this to our original B vector by saying LRB, and we can see that we get the exact same solution. Now we can also test this in terms of truth values by instead looking at a rounded solution. So we can say mp.round b to say five decimal places, and we'll see if this is equal to mp.round lrb to five decimal places, and as you can see, we get the same solution in both cases, whether we use the out of the box prepackaged solution in this linear regression model, or if we actually go through and solve this matrix equation. And this says a lot for the uniqueness of the line of best fit solution. There's only one line of best fit through this scatter plot of data. That is going to do it for this workshop Wednesday. I really hope you enjoyed this video on linear regression in Python. We looked at two solutions. We looked at a matrix solution and an out of the box prepackaged solution using sklearn. In the future, we're gonna look at normalization, specifically lasso and ridge regressions 
to see the difference between fitting a linear regression model in sample and testing it out of sample. And we'll even take a look at some interactive apps that better explain this idea of normalization and why we should care about normalization in practice. That being said, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions. You can always reach out to me, roman at quantgill.com. I'm always happy to help however I can. We just launched our first course, Introduction to Python, available now on quantgill.com. Use code SUMMER2022 for $50 off. And I'm very happy to announce that we have started the development of our next course, machine learning and artificial intelligence. I put a poll up a little while ago to see what you guys would be most interested in next. And it looks like the next course is going to be the principles, the fundamental principles of machine learning and artificial intelligence. I'm going to do a brief math boot camp in the beginning so you don't necessarily have to come in with any prior math knowledge. And we'll get started there and work through machine learning, artificial intelligence, all in Python. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.